All right, so we're gonna go through a full training of using our Simple Pulse uh, milking machine. We're using it on Cherry, who is a Jersey cow. Um, one of the first things that I tell um, anybody that's using this machine is that when you're troubleshooting, you wanna make sure that you are checking a few things. Um, you wanna make sure that you always have these O-rings in your lids. You wanna make sure that you have a filter in. You want to make sure you have another o-ring in the blue lid okay let's we'll twist this back on and we're going to put this on our jar um before i do anything i always set up my hoses um, <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and do that once we get this on all right so simple pulse makes it really easy this white hose goes to the white lid. This is our overflow hose. And so if you're pay not paying attention and you're not switching out your jars and you're starting to overflow, the overflow is gonna go here. And there's a jar down here. It's a half gallon mason jar. We don't collect milk from that one because it's not necessarily like the cleanest. Um, but you will also be losing air in um, the suction process if you don't have that jar. So that's something that you also wanna make sure that you have. <coughs> For the rest of the hoses, we have a hose with a blue line that's going to the blue cap. All of your hoses are going to go on the same cap, except for this little one. This little one's going to be going on this black port right here. All right, so we're all set up. These are the three hoses you want to check. You have your black, you have your white, and your blue. Okay, and we're gonna go get Cherry some feed. We're doing about six to seven scoops of feed. Okay. All right, we're gonna brush Cherry's udder off and get off any loose hay or debris that is on the udder that we don't want going under milk. Take our soapy rags and give her a thorough washing on the teats. And I just do the teat and like the inch around the top of the teat just to be really thorough. And we wash until the rag is completely clean. <laughs> Next, we're going to release um, the bacterial plug in each teat. So I'm just punching off the top and squeezing down and doing two or three squeezes. All right, and we are ready to milk. <clears throat> um, our on button is right here. And so we're gonna turn this on. And if you hear the clicking noise, that means that we have good suction and we are good to go. If you don't hear the clicking noise, that means that you need to troubleshoot somewhere where you're living. All right, so we have our clicking noise, which means that we are good to go. You can also test it by putting these together. And if there's suction, good to go. Now there's a little button here, a little blue button at the bottom. When I'm gonna put this on the actual teat, I'm gonna press this button at the same time and it's going to suction up onto the teeth. So I'm going to flip this white switch down in order to move this um, cut to the 
front seat, and that's going to push air through the opposite way so it loosens it up so we don't have as much suction. So I can pull it right off. Then we're going to flip it back on. 